Hi guys, Zen Recap here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a unique and heartwarming thriller science fiction film called Monolith. Set in the near future, there's an advertisement promoting Monolith. This car is awarded as the safest car in the world due to its very advanced technology, such as an anti-roll sensor. Everything can be controlled from inside the car or from an AI-connected gadget called Lilith. Sandra is a woman who is driving the monolith with her little son, David. She wants to go to her mother-in-law's house, but her husband doesn't come because he's busy working as a pilot. As can be seen, the car is very sophisticated that Lilith can detect the weight of every passenger inside. During her trip, Sandra intentionally calls her husband and finds out that her husband, Carl is at a hotel not far from the central airport. Sandra who begins to suspect him only can be silent, moreover she has to take care of her fussy child by giving him a cell phone so he can be quiet. She decides to take a short break at a gas station with a convenience store next to it. She buys some stuff for herself and David. When she wants to pay for the groceries, a man wants to steal her car. With ease, she can overcome this through Lilith from her cell phone. However, she just realizes and panics that David has disappeared. It turns out he is with a group of women who want to play with him because he's very cute. Enraged, Sandra immediately takes him to the car and activates the vault mode to avoid any kind of interference from outside. Then she continues her journey. Feeling bored, she calls her friend, Jessa, who is also in a hotel near the airport. Unintentionally, she makes Sandra realize that she is in the same hotel with Carl, in other words she's having an affair with her friend's husband. Sandra, who knows about this immediately calls Carl but unfortunately, he doesn't pick up. She feels very disappointed with him and decides to divert the trip to Los Angeles, where the hotel is located. On her way, Lilith informs her that there has been an accident on the highway so it can slow down her journey. Finally, it advises her to take an off-road route for a shortcut. The route is very dark and deserted, leading her to only see an electric substation on the side of the road. Shortly after, she lights a cigarette to relax, but that causes Lilith to initiate the car's smoke alarm. As a result, the car accidentally hits a wild deer. She gives her tearful son her cell phone to distract him before she checks what was going on. Then she screams in panic because the deer is not completely dead and she doesn't know what to do next. While she is outside the car, David is playing with the app for Monolith which has been installed on Sandra's phone. He accidentally activates the vault mode, locks and seals the whole car completely and prevents Sandra from entering. An overly panicked Sandra teaches her son to open the car's door, but instead startles him and also drops the phone under the seat. She starts looking for different ways to open the car, she even tries to break the window using a stone, but still her effort remains in vain. Apparently, she's trying to find help at a nearby electric substation, which she has seen before. Initially, she has to climb the gate and finds no one in there, but luckily she finds a flashlight and a wrench to break the window again. Outside from there, she meets a wild coyote, making her run back and climb on the roof of the car. Then she tries to break the windshield using the wrench, but it still doesn't work. Desperately, she sleeps on the roof of the car while accompanying David for the night. After a night full of nightmares, she sees David is trapped in his child safety seat. He is struggling to breathe and starts to lose consciousness, while the temperature of the car rises as the air conditioning is switched off. Sandra begins to wander around the desert near the monolith car. Fortunately, she finds a stream of water to drink. Not far from there, she also finds an abandoned plane at a deserted airport. Of course, no one is there. Then, she decides to burn some tires using liquor from the plane's minibar to form a distress signal and lastly, she also finds an empty bottle. She fills the bottle with river water for her son. Then she returns to the monolith and douses the car with the water she found before, hoping to lower the temperature in the car. After a while, she notices that David is unconscious, even though he slightly moves his hand. She begins to lose hope when she notices that the coyote is back. Using the wrench found at the electrical station, she tries to tackle the coyote, which ends up biting her ankle. Sandra finally understands that the coyote wants the carcass of the deer, but as soon as it starts to feed, the monolith car starts moving down the hill. Sandra tries her best to stop the car using a nearby stone. Soon, she has a brilliant idea. First, she intimidates the coyote, making it runs away. Then she decides to push the car further away from the hill, using the wrench to break the stone. The monolith, with David in it, falls off the hill as the technology detects the gravitational pressure at that position, making it lands perfectly. With that idea, the door is eventually opened and allows Sandra to recover the poor David, apparently dying. At the same time, the stunning monolith automatically reactivates the system so it can be used as before. 
Sandra reluctantly relies on Lilith to get out from the hole they seem to be in, opting for off-road mode and freeing herself and her son. Arriving in a hospital, she sees David awakes. For the first time, little David calls her mom because during the movie, he always called her Sandra. This movie shows that a great mother always sacrifices everything for her child. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.